Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to solve Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics Paper 3, Variant 3 1, May June 2021. Question number 7 onwards. Before we start, do subscribe to my channel, share with your friends, and if I have helped you, do mention in the comment section. Let's start. Question number 7 Martin, Suki, and Pierre make clocks. In one week, Martin makes X clocks. Suki makes three fewer clocks than Martin. So that means it is X minus three. And Pierre makes twice as many clocks as Suki. So twice means you double the amount. So two times X minus three. We have to write an expression for the total number of clocks they, they made in one week. We just write down x, that is Martin, Suki, which is x minus 3, Pierre, which is 2, bracket x minus 3. We can expand the bracket, we'll get 2x, 2 multiplied by negative 3, negative 6. Add the like terms together. If there's nothing, there's a 1 here. So 1 plus 1 plus 2 will be 4x. Negative 3 and negative nine, 6 put in the calculator you will get negative 9. So that's our answer. In part 2, the total number of clocks they make in one week is 35. Work out the value of x. So 4x minus 9 is equal to 35. The negative 9 when we shift to the other side will become positive 9, giving us 44. 4 times x, so the 4 when we shift to the other side will be a divide. 44 divided by 4 is 11. We have to work out how many more clocks Pierre makes than Martin. Martin makes 11. Pierre makes 2 times x minus 3, which is 11 minus 3. This will give us 16. Therefore, 16 minus 11, which is 5. That is the number of clocks that Martin make. Pierre makes more than Martin. Part B, complete the clock diagram to show the time 2.30. I hope you all know how to draw this. When it is 2.30, it's not going to be exactly at 2. 2 is our hour, so that's the small one. It will be in the middle. And 30 is exactly on 6. In B2, we have to find the obtuse angle between the hands of the clock at 2.30 p.m. This whole clock is divided into 12 parts, right? And what are we looking for? We are looking for this angle. So let's count how many parts there are. One, two, three, and half. So 3.5. 3.5 over 12. And how many full degrees are there in a circle? 360. Just put the whole thing in the calculator and you will get the answer, 105. In C, we have to work out the number of seconds in 10 days. Give your answer in standard form. Okay, so we know that in one minute, we have 60 seconds. One hour has 60 minutes so how many seconds will we be having 60 multiplied by 60 3600 in one day we have 24 hours so 24 multiplied by 3600 86400 now this is for one day so for 10 days, we will have 86,400 multiplied by 10. We have to write this in standard form. When we write in standard form, the first number, we leave it and then we put decimal. Then we count the numbers here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we will write it as 10 to the power of 5. Part D. A clock is started at 15.00. 0, 0. 
the clock is not working correctly and is slow. The clock loses 8 minutes every hour. So after 1 hour, the clock shows 15.52 because it lost 8 minutes. What time will the clock show 3 and a half hours after it is started? So for the first hour, if it was correct, it will be 1400, but it is 8 minutes slow, so it's 15.52. In the second hour, it is supposed to be 16.52, but it is 8 minutes less. So 16.52 minus 8, it is 16.44. In the third hour, it is supposed to be 17.44, but it is 8 minutes less, so we minus 8, and we will get 17.36. Now, after 30 minutes, half an hour, right, is 30 minutes, we add 30 to this, we are supposed to get, when you add 17.36, uh, 30 minutes to it, you will get 1766. Whenever it becomes more than 60, you add 1 to the hour. So it's going to become 1806. It's supposed to be 1806. For every 1 hour, it was losing 8 minutes. For 30 minutes, it will lose half of it. So it will lose 4 minutes. So subtract 4 from this, we will get 18. Zero 02. That's the time in our clock. Moving on to part A. It's a four mark question. The times on two clocks are checked regularly. One clock is checked every six days, the other clock is checked every eight days. Both clocks are checked on 1st January 2021. Find the number of days during 20. 21 when both clocks will be checked on the same day there are 365 days in 2021 for questions like this we need to find the lcm so lcm of 6 and 8 i'll show you in an easier way for now because just write the multiples of 6 6 times 1 is 6 6 times 2 12 6 times 3 18 6 times 4, 24. Same, write the multiples of 8. 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2, 16. 8 times 3, 24. So that's the common multiple. How many days are there? There are 365 days. So 365 divided by the common multiple, which is 24. And we will get 15.2. So the number of days, the total number of days are 15.2. We cannot have a point day, right? So we write, therefore, total number of days are 16. It was a very easy question. The only thing you needed to know was that you need to find the LCM and you divide your total with the LCM. And remember that if, if you don't get a whole number, you have to take the next whole number. So that's our answer. Question number eight. We have been given a circle and a triangle in the circle. This is the diameter. Complete the statement. Angle ABC is 90 degrees. It means that your angle B is 90 because the angle opposite the diameter is equal to sorry opposite the diameter is equal to 90 degrees this is one of the circle theorems work out the area of triangle abc abc can be area can be found by half times base times height as it is 90 degrees BC is a perpendicular height, so we can write half times 6 times 10, which is 30 square centimeter. Next, we have to find out AC. 
AC is the hypotenuse. To find the hypotenuse, we use the Pythagoras theorem A square plus B square is equal to C square. C is our hypotenuse. So to find C, we will square root the opposite and the adjacent that we have here. 6 square plus 10 square. And we will get 11.66 rounded to one decimal place. 11.6 is your answer. Part B make R your subject. A is equal to pi R squared. Pi is a multiply. When you shift to the other side, it becomes a divide. And to find R, you have to square root A over pi. So that is our final answer. The whole thing, remember to square root it, not only the part of it. Question number C. The diagram shows a circle inside a square. The circle touches the four sides of the square. Area of the square is 81 square centimeter. Calculate the shaded area. To find the shaded area, we will need to find area of square. And from that, we need to minus area of circle. But no dimensions have been given to us. The only thing we know that area of square is 81. What is the formula to find the area? It is side square. So the side will be square root 81, which is 9. So this side is 9. And this is 9, like everything is 9. It means your diameter is also 9. Therefore, what will your radius be? Radius is half of the diameter, which is 9 divided by 2, 4.5. Shaded area will be area of square. We already know area of square 81 minus area of circle. To find area of circle, we do pi r square. We found our r, which is 4.5 square. Let's see what we get. 63.617. So 81 minus 63.617 will give us 17.38 square centimeter. Now this is the last question. Question number nine. We have been given the elements here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. E, X is such that X is an even number. You know, even numbers are numbers. I'll just write this side. Even numbers are numbers ending with two, four, six, eight, ten, and twelve. And M x is such that x is a multiple of 3. It means it is in 3 times table. 3 ones are 3. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3, 9. 3 times 4, 12. We have to complete the Venn diagram. Whatever is common, we have 6 and 9 and 12 and 12. Write that in the center. The other remaining numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, write it in the other part of the circle E. And for M, write 3 and 9. But we are not done. We have to use all the numbers in the elements. We used, okay, let's cancel out what we use. We used 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, and 12. We are left with 1, 5, 7, and 11. We write it outside the circles. Next, write down N, E, U, M. N means the number in E, union M, which is inside the two circles. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We just have to count the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In part 3, 
a number is chosen at random from the universal set write down the probability that the number is in the set e intersection n the middle part is the intersection so how many numbers are there two and how many total numbers are there 12 so when you simplify it you just have put in the calculator it is 1 over 6 but b max says that even number an even number cannot be a prime number is she correct give a reason for your answer no she is not correct because 2 is an even number that is also a prime number. So that is our answer. This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe and share with your friends.